in today's episode of Connecting Cultures. Today I will introduce you to my family. How's the life of the Kurdish diaspora in Kazakhstan? I will show you our national dishes and national clothes. What do we know about Kurdish national cuisine? I work in the Almaty branch of the Kurdish Association. What is the name of the Kurdish community? All about this in the next 20 minutes. Kazakhstan is a multinational state. It's a home to more than 130 nationalities. Kurds have been living in Kazakhstan for 80 years. There are now over 70,000 Kurds in the country. The work of the Kurds of Kazakhstan Barbak Association at the Assembly of the People of Kazakhstan is underway. Our association has always promoted the Kurdish language, culture and the connection of the Kurdish people with other peoples. We have cultural and spiritual connection with Kazakh people. Three stages of Kurds migration to Kazakhstan. The first group of Kurdish diaspora arrived from Azerbaijan in 1937. The second group was deported from Georgia in 1944. The third group immigrated from Azerbaijan and Armenia in 1989-1990. Today, more than 70,000 Kurds live in Kazakhstan. My name is Tagirov Maksud Kasimovich. I was born in 1995 in independent Kazakhstan, and I am representative of the Kurdish people. Our family came to Kazakhstan in 1992. I was the only one in my family who was born in Kazakhstan. Since childhood, I have been constantly hearing the phrase, a person who does not know his history has no future. That's why the elders in our family always tell us how the Kurds arrived in Kazakhstan and what kind of welcome Kazakh people gave us. In 1937 and 1944, when the Kurds and Koreans were one of the deported peoples under Stalin, the Turks and Kurds were deported back to Central Asia and Kazakhstan from the territories bordering Turkey. The people who fled the war left everything there. Kazakhs shared their clothes and food with us. For this, not only the Kurds, but all deported people are grateful to Kazakhs. Welcome. Today we have such a wonderful celebration in our house. My relatives, sisters and brothers came to visit. Let's go and meet them. Today my brothers and sisters gathered at our home to greet our parents. Let me introduce everyone. This is my father, his name is Qasim, he's the pride of our family. This is my mother, Fatima. We love our mother very much. We named our youngest after our mother, Fatima. My sister's children, Alim and Imran. This is our daughter-in-law. Her name is Hanim. My brother is not at home today. He left for work. And this is my older sister, Aishan. Younger sister, Khadija. And our son-in-law, Saladin. Saladin. My family and I moved to Kazakhstan after the collapse of the Soviet Union. We started working on the Kazakh land. Over time, we got used to the warmth of local people towards us and decided to stay in Kazakhstan. Maksud is my youngest. He was born in Kazakhstan. Since childhood, he was a very smart child. 
He studied very well at school, received two higher educations, graduated with a master's degree. I am proud of my son. One of the qualities that unites Turkic peoples and Muslims is respect for elders. Therefore, once a week, my sisters and brothers gather at our house. We prepare national dishes and share our news. I love my sisters and brothers' children. I enjoy spending time with them. When we sit together, I always tell them our story, what are the features of our people. I show them national costumes, how to put them on. I tell them about the national cuisine, because it's very important for future generations. You need to know your history and your native language. Guys, do you know what I'm wearing? This is our national costume. Now you will help me to wrap this scarf. Come on. Kurdish women's national costume combines elements such as Cherkas, Avalkras, Helak and Kras. Clothing is usually made from red, blue, yellow, green and purple fabrics. The main element of the men's national costume is Starhani. This is a cross between a jacket and a shirt, and trousers are called Sirval. Also, Kurdish men tie a light fabric called Pshtene around their waist. Older people wear a turban. You can wear it in different ways. It can also be tied like a regular scarf. Do you understand? In the future you will show this to your children and future generations. The traditions of the Kurdish and Kazakh peoples are very similar. Now in the kitchen we will show the preparation of one of the national dishes, omach. I will also stand next to my sister. I will learn. Maksud, today we will cook one of our national dishes, omach soup. For this we need peas, tomatoes, onions, sorrel and meat. Let's roll out the dough thinly. We're making noodles. Let's try to cook. Maksud, you watch and learn. We added beans, sorrel, and needs to boiling broth. We added beans, noodles and everything else to the broth, but we forgot something. You need to add one special ingredient. There are a lot of Kurdish dishes, let me tell you about them. This is our kutab dish. Children love it very much. And this is Hashlama, it's very similar to Khurdak. This is Seraron, it's made from meat and dough. This is Pilaf, our national dish, and Dolma, which is made from grape leaves. After graduating from high school in 2013, I thought a lot about which university to go to. I looked at several universities and chose the Kazo British Technical University, the Faculty of Business. So I studied finance for four years. 
After graduating from university, I thought a lot about whether to go to work or not. I owned a business for a year, but I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. Then I entered the Sorbonne Kazakhstan Institute for a master's degree in international relations. Since 2018, I was the chairman of the youth organization of the Kurdish Association. I worked there for three years. In 2021, I was appointed chairman of the branch of the Kurdish Association in Almaty. The Assembly's work is very important. If we consider Kazakhstan as a single organism, the government, the parliament is the head, and the Assembly is the soul, the heart of Kazakhstan, because the main goal of the Assembly is to unite people. We always tell younger generations about Kazakhstan patriotism, both at work and at home. Our children also go to the Kazakh kindergarten. Kazakhstan is a common homeland for all Kazakhstan citizens. We are all members of the Assembly of the People of Kazakhstan. Our home, Kazakhstan, is the homeland for all of us. We always work hard on cultural ties in our community. Last year, on the occasion of the 175th anniversary of Abai, we translated his poems into Kurdish. We also translated the works of the great philosopher and scientist Al Farabi into Kurdish language. We are now in the House of Friendship. It is the center of the Kurdish community. Of course, not only of Kurds, but also other nationalities. Behind this door, various issues are raised and important decisions are made. In 2018, the Jean Harujola Youth Society was organized in Nur Sultan under the Assembly of Kazakhstan. Then I became deputy chairman of the Jean Harujola movement of the Almaty branch. The Jean Harujola movement was created with the support of the Assembly. Mahsud is our deputy chairman. His steps in organizing the work are very clear. We have worked hard since its inception. He is fluent in Kazakh. He treats all people with kindness. We are not divided into nations. We work together. For the sake of uniting people, so as not to forget our history, the history of other nationalities. We plan to hold many events. The association includes not only Kazakhs, but also people of many nationalities. We all work together. Everyone speaks Kazakh fluently. General events and meetings are held in Kazakh, and we speak Kazakh among ourselves. We must popularize unity and friendship among young people. And here one of the most important factors is the Kazakh language. The Kazakh language is very important not only for Kazakhs, but also for all 130 nationalities living in Kazakhstan. Many people who see me for the first time think that I'm a Turk. Turkish and Kazakh language are similar, which is why I think it was easier for me to learn Kazakh. But when I say that I'm Kurd, they see the difference when they hear Kurdish. Then people begin to understand that Kazakh and Kurdish are different and complex in their own way. But I was born and raised among Kazakhs, so it was not that difficult.
I feel 50% Kazakh because from a young age I was surrounded only by Kazakh people. I grew up in a village where all the neighbors were Kazakhs. We played with them, spoke Kazakh, went to visit each other, witnessed and learned the traditions of the Kazakh people. Today 90% of my friends are Kazakhs. In the association, people study the Kazakh language three times a week. In Kazakhstan, more than 80% of Kurds speak the state language. We always try to do our best to learn the Kazakh language. For us, the Kazakh language is something that occupies a special place in our culture and mentality. I have one medal that I can be proud of. 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of the Assembly. On the occasion of my 25th birthday, I received such a medal on behalf of the first president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Working in such institutions, you can achieve such status. Therefore, I appeal to young people. Many do not know what the work of the assembly is. To do this, you need to show and explain to young people that we have social lifts, which allow achieving certain statuses by performing such work. One of our goals is to bring all this to the public. The purpose of our association is inter-ethnic harmony. It includes concepts such as Kazakh-Kurdish ties, unity and friendship. I would like Kazakh and Kurdish youth to be friendly, wherever it may be, be it in the village or in the city. A very good example is the recent marriage of a Kurd to a Kazakh girl. Likewise, Kurdish girls marry Kazakh men. Because we share a common history, one religion, one destiny, and there is not much difference. Therefore, may our children be friends with Kazakh children. In my free time, I try to be active. I was born and raised in Almaty, therefore, like every Almaty citizen, I love mountains. One of my hobbies is mountain climbing. We have recently been to Kogjailau and Kolsai. We have such wonderful places in Kazakhstan. You must see them with your own eyes and feel this nature. I also like to read books. The last three books I read, The Sovereign by Machiavelli, A Thousand Splendid Sons and The Echo Flies Through the Mountains. We raised and brought up our children on the Kazakh land. We thank the Kazakh people for this opportunity. Kazakhstan is developing in all directions, and there are all the conditions for the unity of people. We always thank the Kazakh people. This gratitude has an 80-year history. In 1937, the Kurds were deported to Kazakhstan for the first time. The Kazakh people accepted us, shared everything with us. We tell our children about it. We express our gratitude to the Kazakh people. There is a Kazakh proverb that says, where well, there is unity, there is good life. We wish our children unity and friendship at all times. In Kazakhstan, friendship flourishes among 130 people. Many thanks to the Kazakh people. One of my dreams is the development of multinational Kazakhstan. May all people live in peace and harmony. I'm ready to work for this as part of the assembly. May our country be safe, may people be in peace and the sky be clear and calm.